Crazy like deep run with like East Ham versus Salem. I can see the Sam is coming out maybe, but it's gonna be an interesting match. I feel that Charlie is definitely in a disadvantage, not just like a matchup wise, but just because East Ham has played so many wolves at this point, uh -huh. and uh, we don't really have any super strong uh, Pikachu's right. in, in SoCal. And that's kind of been the uh, situation across East Ham's entire career of Smash. There's always, you know, people have never played a Pikachu quite like this one. Oh, doesn't yeah. matter the game Brawl, Smash 4, and now Ultimate. Of course, though, never want to sleep on any good look, but you never want to miss a tech versus the East Ham. I'm surprised didn't go for the. Oh, wow, that was Shine. <laughs> so good on the Thunder. And maybe Cody Sam sleeping just a little bit. That reflector came out. And yeah, from a fundamental standpoint, Isan probably knows he can't do that. But it's always good to check to see if your opponent knows yeah. that too. Yeah, it's, it's never like a bad thing to just go for the thunder there. Just to see what they will do. And Isan giving him no rest, just chasing him to the depths and back, and putting on so much pressure. Oh and my finally goodness. gets a shield poke. <laughs> Those multi hits, man. He's like, nah, you don't get to drop shield. Really good stuff there from Isan, keeping up the pressure. And oh, he's doing and it the again. Back air train. So carried him so far off stage, barely missing the thunder. Oh, but that spot I wonder, dodge. I wonder if he tried to get to the ledge right there instead of uh, you know landing on stage. Yeah, but I either way. He, I think he wanted to just angle his recovery in a way that would be hard for Charlie to punish. Yeah. But still gets the spot dodge covered. And now Charlie doing a really good job of bringing this right back. And they're playing it right even. And, I mean, it's, it's just kind of going to be interesting to see. It's Charlie's trying to get the wheels turning so so desperately, but ESAM always seems to have the answer. So much shield pressure on that thunder, dude. And it's uh, the match is kind of slowed down in pacing just a little bit before the players just going ham on each other. Now you see some shields in neutral. Just kind of the the awareness of the situation setting in for both of them. Oh, wow, good tech. Oh, man. ESAM just looking for that dash tag. He knows they can get the kill of Charlie sleeping just a little bit. Oh. Wolf up B. You always got to watch that move. <laughs> it's wow. a big text from, from Charlie keeping him in the game. If he had lost his stock there on either of them, he would have been in big trouble, but still holding on. But that dash attack's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But I respect the risk on that up smash. Not a bad time to throw out that throw it out in that situation. Try yeah. to get Isim on the shield drop. Or are you going to jump? And let's see if he's able to pick up the stock and close it out. He has Isim off stage. But Isam, that's the hard part about Pikachu, so elusive, able to reset neutral pretty much at will and often situations. Yeah, once he's at the ledge, if you if you use this uh, on point, you can just quick attack the center stage. It's very hard to punish it. And it might be a little bit frustrating for Charlie, not really having the answer on how to take this stock. Oh, I always get scared when people miss a tech versus Isam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, the jab's coming out. Isam's probably like, man, I, I should have had that one. But he's just the, he's just the man who can't get all of them. Ooh. Wow, what Beautiful is happening? Tech, a good tech. <laughs> he couldn't go anywhere there. I don't even think he had a, a long enough up B to go left or right after yeah. taking that. Great thunder spike there. That move is so brutal because you get spiked by the thunder, and then the spike itself can kill you, but then you just get hit by, like, the, the base hit, too, as well. Right. Yeah, you, you never really know. Am I going to just get straight uh, sent straight down to the blast zone? Or am I going to get hit by the Thunder 2 and end up, you know, flying yeah. directly underneath yeah. the stage with no jump? What's going to happen? Yeah. Who knows? Really uh, good positioning there for me, Sam. Charlie taking a second to review the stage list, kind of go over his options in his head, maybe slow down the pace of not just the match, but, you know, just the momentum overall. E Sam picked up quite a bit of damage and quite a, you know, stock so quickly there at the end. And I saw Town and City was the pick. And I assume we're looking at the same characters. They're locked in. Wolf versus Pikachu. Isam versus Charlie. Yeah, this is, uh, again, it's, it's super rough for Charlie. Just because Isam is so experienced versus this character. And uh, you have to really bring something special to catch him off guard, I feel. Yeah. And <laughs> right combos. now, there's a reflector. Yeah, the so. saving grace. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been through. Oh, real grace trouble because then he would have been off stage too, and everything would have been bad. Uh, he's able, he, you know, as far as mitigating the the damage goes, he was oh. only. Oh no, he dropped his reflector too early. <laughs> oh man. And got hit by the thunder too, and that was such an early stock. And Esam in firm control of the second game within 30 seconds, and he has him off stage. Oh, oh my the god! On the jump. <laughs> 
gold bash? Who does that? That was. Oh, that was that was incredible, dude. That was zero to death, right? Why? Yeah. Why <laughs> you gotta do him like that? <laughs> Uh, it's it's Esam doing Esam things, but Charlie doing Charlie things with that back air, and brings it back to you know just a one stock deficit. If he's able to rattle off a few plays, he can battle back into it. But he's got to make it happen now and not take too much damage. Yeah, it's not going to be easy at all. And especially if you're getting lightning loops coming in, and that's three. Now Esam starting to uh, bait out the uh, reflector as well. It kind of looks like Esam has the download patch ready on Charlie from the beginning, and um, Charlie's in a world of hurt. And I'm just surprised that that smash attack didn't finish it off because it, it would have been the perfect ending to the perfect story for Esam here in game two. Yeah, it's looking really hard for Charlie to just get momentum and uh, get himself back into this game. What? Oh, that's a big pickup. He's Hope burns eternal, right? He can, you know, make, as I said, just a, a few plays, get some damage in. And Wolf has so much pop, he might be able to sneak it out. But Dash Attack doesn't care. Yeah, that's so uh, so much pressure there with the Thunder Jewel. And he catches, the, like, the shield drop. Yeah. Going in with the Dash Attack. Great stuff from Esam. Looking really strong again in this matchup, which uh, I expect from him. And there's so many Wolves you have to look out for now that uh, if you're not practicing this matchup and you're trying to do Wolf tournaments, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you think. And people are kind of, you know, going back to that last game, people are very used to, or Wolves are very used to players respecting their recovery and not going too ham off stages because Wolf Flash yeah. can end up killing people out of nowhere. But Isim had zero respect for his recovery. Yeah. He went out with a skull bash of all the options yeah, yeah. and he took sounds, it. He sounds like any MIC. He's one of those guys that just gets you off stage and he just goes to work. All right, it's 2-0. Let's see if Charlie's able to mount some sort of comeback. He's going to have to come out swinging and come out hot early. But so far, nothing doing. They're pulling back and forth. And he's got to feel every hit that Esam gets is just one step closer to advancing and, you know, just one one dagger to the heart that's, that's Charlie's tournament hopes. Yeah, it's really rough right now. Esam, is, once he gets that hit and sends Wolf off stage, he's just trying to attack the jumps as aggressively as possible. Oh, my goodness, going for another Skull Bash. Why not work the first time? But that Wolf down smash is no joke. Slight charge and everything. Kills so early. And that's the start of the match. You know, it was a little rough at the beginning, but that's kind of the start that Charlie was hoping for. And he's as long as he's able to put on some pressure, get some percentage now, he's looking pretty, you know, pretty good to try to mount the comeback. But he's got to start with something. If Esam just takes it without any damage, then it's right back where he started. Definitely. Oh, so and, good. Yeah. Called out the grab and everything. And I think if you look back, if, if Charlie's going to look back on this match, he's going to look back at that exchange where he was at only 75% coming in there and he didn't put on any damage. It's kind of his opportunity to really, really bring it home. How many back air? He's <laughs> <laughs> back air train all the way to the ledge. Crazy. Kind of giving Wolf or Wolf a taste of his brawl medicine, bear to bear to bear. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's such a good option too, because if you force the double jump in that situation, because you got so many options to just edge guard the heck out of Wolf. And I think Esam's holding on to a read. He's kind of seen Charlie not tech roll in or uh, uh, tech roll in quite a few times and hasn't really punished it in those situations because he's been going for the the rogue forward smash. So let's see if that comes into play down the line. I have a hunch. I have a feeling that's Esam's style. Oh. There's, there's a tech roll back. He went for it right there. Still a really close game right here. Charlie looking for that straight hit to get this stock. And wow, he's going for the punish on that up smash. Way safer than I expected. I probably thought he parried the uh, the up smash, but, you know, kind of. You have to commit to it before you hit the buttons, you know what I mean? So he, he was, he was going to go for the forward smash no matter what. Okay, carries him off stage with the nair. See if he can get a edge guard. It's a good trade. Oh, oh no, no, it's not a good trade. I was going to say, good trade for Charlie, but he got covered with the SD there, unfortunately. All right, I lied. He won't look at uh, that first stock. He's going to look at that stock if uh, <laughs> things fall apart. But fortunately, they're not. He's uh, putting on pressure already. Got a 65% lead to work with as long as he doesn't let Esam get him off stage. He's looking pretty good to bring home at least one game. That's where the comeback starts, right? You got to start with game three, and then if you're, if you're so lucky, Game four, and then game five. But you got to start with game three first here and now. He's got to close it out. And you see Esam trying to go get those back airs to get it going. Here it is. Okay, Charlie. Oh, the goal gets covered. But he's just back to center stage. 
fucking fine. It's always scary though when you have a lead like this and that like, you play like, kind of the way that Charlie's playing. Especially if he's just like playing really safe and just looking for that one hit, you can get pretty predictable. Yeah, a little spaghetti at Sam. Quick attack poorly right next to him and dash attack right over Pikachu's small profile. Oh. And Sam is now within kill percent. This is not looking good. I mean, he's Pikachu uh, might have a little trouble killing at 100 actually. Dash attack's not in play yet, but it's still definitely closer than Charlie would like it for it to be. Again, like, I feel like Charlie's looking for that one hit to just take this game, and Esam's pretty aware of it. So he's being able to get these punches and slowly build this uh, comeback. Yeah, and they're going back and forth. Oh my god, that looked like it was trouble. I'm surprised the F smash didn't come out. Oh, oh the reliable <laughs> wolf up V, man. Every time, dude. People just try to challenge it, and if they're not on point, that last kick, so strong. Yeah, he had a game of inches because Esam was hunting into the depths and he was trying to forward air that and fortunately in the game of frames Charlie was able to get you know the uh, the up special out just in time yeah definitely yeah I always uh, feel like Esam can if he times it right he can get an easy down here right yeah, okay can Charlie gets on the board yeah he's a 3-1 and we're coming into game four so that's the start Charlie's kind of proven to himself it can happen he can win a game Esam's not a god it's not that he's a godlike it's that I've, I've not been godlike so let's see if he cleans it up because he was able to win that game despite, you know, as we said, that first stock was kind of a, a miscue when he had a big lead or, you know, not a not a huge percent deficit. And then all of a sudden, uh, the second game, he has, or second stock, he has deed. Um, if he cleans that up, he said might be in a little bit of trouble here in game four, actually. Yeah, strong start for Charlie as well in this game. Well, and the, the loops are coming downs, on. But the platform helps. Oh, no, GSM just falls in anyway. <laughs> really good awareness there. Yeah, very good extension. Just a little bit more damage. But is that that percentage is going to end? You know, he's going to go for the ending anywhere. He up airs them away. So maybe not too much of a, you know, about where he should have been. Oh, uh, there's Wolf Flash coming Flash. into play. Oh, catches the ledge jump. That F tilt, so active and really strong, too, catching him at the ledge. Great and this is where he was at the start of uh, game three. He was up, you know, 75%. And let's see if this time around he's able to put on some percentage instead of, you know, just dropping his stock immediately. Oh, uh, he. Yeah, He's saying one for the jam block. <laughs> Ooh, nice landing compared to the back air. He, Charlie looking really strong here. I can't believe he got to roll <laughs> through that down <laughs> smash. So close. Yeah, it looks like he had the correct counter option. It's just a little Ooh. bit of timing. But there's that down air you were talking yeah. about. Great timing there from Esam to really kind of put a, a halt in Charlie's momentum because he was definitely starting to run with the match. But still looking really strong right now. And our Charlie's got to be, you know, play it safe and just kind of keep away from the loops. And he's going to be working with a little bit of a lead if he's able to do so. Definitely. He's uh, one of those characters that has really strong low percent combo game, so you just want to avoid those as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're a character like Wolf, who gets combos pretty easily. Very confident turnaround grab. And there's the dash attack. Esam's off stage, able to recover back, and a very good ledge drop situation. You saw Charlie jerk hopping to farm out or to, to counter the jump, but is able to counter the roll in with a landing grab. Again, really strong position at the ledge, but nice. It's the back throw. It's going to be really bad, but there's the wolf flash. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Always <laughs> catching people sleeping. It's like it's, it's, uh, it's like it's karmic retribution right yeah. there. You weren't going to respect my recovery <laughs> of the first games, and you're going to skull bash me? Let me hit you with wolf flash a couple times and respect that. Oh, they caught the jump there with the forward air. Charlie's going to have to recover in a really good way. Nice. High wolf flash again. East Ham keeping up the pressure here. Oh, goes towards the stage, though, luckily for Charlie. And content just to trade Blaster Bolt with Thunder Jolt damage. Oh, yeah, those trades are really good for Wolf, especially against the kill so early. Right. I want to stay around 70% you can kill the down smash, but catch the dash attack. Let's see if Charlie can keep control here and bring us to a game five. He's been looking really strong. And of course, East Sam's getting the wheels turning here, and Charlie air dodging away and resetting to neutral. It's a lot closer than it was at the start, and East Sam's putting on the damage, and Charlie just trying to play passive. Oh, oh what a thunder oh, jolt. He tried to down air him. That was close. Yeah, that was a really good snipe. Okay. That's what uh, Charlie kind of has to be wary of if you're behind, if you're up by this much. You don't want to get cheesed out by anything like a Pikachu down or off stage on wall. Okay. Trying to force the shield drop from Esam, putting all these safe hitboxes at the ledge. Nice F2. So you can get the timing here. 
Oh, calls out that quick attack, but the anti-air up smash, catching the landing. Charlie bringing it to a game five. And uh, wow, I really like this change from Charlie. Like, he's playing way safer than I usually yeah. see him play. And it's really working uh, wonders here versus East Ham. Yeah, I know, he cleaned up the miscues that we were talking about from game three. Game four is much better. And now he's sitting poised. He has all the momentum in the world. East Ham, red alert, three, uh, reverse 3-0 yeah. might be coming in. And uh, you definitely don't want to see that, East Ham is sitting in loser so yeah, that, that trip to summit it's yeah, so close but it's, it's so far away right now yeah and then to lose it to another a wolf matchup too a really common matchup that you know he's pretty practicing right but here we go game yeah. five he's in taking a moment calm veteran collecting himself he's kind of feeling the energy of the room and it's going pikachu he knows what he has to do he came in game one game two all the confidence in the world charlie rebutted Swung back and hit him, and he's knocked him back a little bit on the ropes. But we're coming into game five. We're all even. Who's going to take it? There we go. Big come here from Eastern trying to get the drag down uh, there again just because it's all how devastating it was at, uh, on Wolf at these percent. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to be a little too fine and kind of uh, miss space the, uh, the Nair initially. Oh, there's Wolf Flash again. That kind of seems to be Charlie's go to recovery option. It's been working really well here is that East Ham's been sniping that uh, jump with the, the Thunder Jolt and trying to position like a down air on uh, maybe mm -hmm. his up B, but Charlie's just going for the high wolf flash. Oh. Yeah, East Ham electing to take the uh, dash attack instead of the, the down smash in that situation. And he has Charlie off stage. Oh, oh. but no tech. Dang, so much aggressive plays off stage there from East Ham. Yeah, Charlie was trying to like angle his recovery and like stall as long as possible to avoid Ezra, but that last second up air. Right. And that's kind of like the first uh, missed tech that we've seen from uh, from Charlie off stage. He's been so good so far on the set. You hate to see it come, the wheels come off now. Very big back air, able to tie up the match pretty much. But Esam in the advantage situation, opening the stock. The loops are coming out, but didn't follow up on it. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe a little technical miscue. Not gonna get that falling fair uh, combo that he's looking for. Charlie really needs his hits to convert like he wants if he wants to keep this match close. But since Wolf does so much damage if he gets the right hit. Oh. Esam playing a lot more confidently. You saw him snipe out that uh, that Wolf option with a neutral era preemptively. You know, maybe he has a better feel for what Charlie's going for. That that one that moment where he meditated before the game might have done wonders for his mentality. Oh, wow, that dash killed off the again. top. Yeah, he's again, he's approaching with that dash tag behind the Thunder Jolt because you're trying to like punish the Thunder Jolt or drop shield against it. And the moment you do that, the dash tag comes out. Mm. Wow, aggressive neutral landing. You saw Charlie with the forward smash coming through. This time able to clip him with it. And Charlie's in business. Has Esam in a little bit of trouble. Oh, they're right back into neutral. This is hitbox is trying to get that straight hit to send Esam off the stage. But every little hit Esam gets is just further and furthering his lead. Mm -hmm. No punish on the dash tag either. Yeah, 60% yeah. unanswered pretty much. And Charlie, even if he gets the stock now, is going to have his work cut out for him. Esam starting to pull away. Okay. Back there again, seeing him off stage in a really rough spot. Esam positioning his hitboxes so safely. It's really hard for him to try to get in, but there's that up smash, catching the jump. 90% really rough comeback to make right here, especially with Esam looking like he has full control. Oh, he missed that grab, went the wrong direction, unfortunately. Oh, uh, and Esam wanted, oh uh, no, uh -huh. Charlie got hit by the late hit up smash. So many things going wrong for him right now. Oh, oh. Finisher with the downer, catching that up beat. Really good timing there for 